Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to take a look at what I'm calling a mothership. I noticed something on May 7th on radar that did not look like a Doppler radar signature. At first it did, until I noticed how large it was, and then it looked like it moved from the southwest to the northeast. You want to stick around for that. That's pretty incredible, very, very interesting. At the very least, I'll let you guys decide. I've also put together a brand new sky phenomena picture slideshow in this video. Also this morning, that's where the sun was at at around 6.15 a.m. We're going to check it again tomorrow. What we're trying to do is establish a baseline for how much the sun is moving each day to the north. We've got to go until June 21st and trying to establish whether it's moving 1 degree, 1.25, 1.3, uh, point 0.9, we're just trying to establish a baseline, that's all. So once again, that's where it was. According to my compass, it was still around the 72 degree east. I couldn't tell on my sky map because it didn't give me numerical coordinates at the horizon. And besides, I couldn't see it anyway. So what I'm doing is simply going outside at the same time, around 6.15 a.m. And that's where it was today. Tomorrow, it should be somewhere in the neighborhood at the top of that power pole right there. We'll have to wait and see, but I'll definitely be out there taking a photo. Also want to thank everybody that's made a difference. You guys know who you are. I'm reaching out to each and every one of you that have made a difference. I greatly appreciate your kindness and generosity. If you haven't checked that out, by all means do so. It's the green tab at MrMBB333.com. You can find link below in the description box. Now to what I'm calling the mothership. Here's the little video I put together, and here's what I saw on radar. At first, I thought it was a Doppler radar signature till I measured it and realized it was over 400 miles wide. Then I noticed on the radar that it appeared to move from southwest to northeast, as you guys will see in this video presentation. Here we go. Once again, I measured it on Google Earth. I put the grid on, measured approximately from the base of this object, whatever it may be. Again, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. Went from basically north of Saskatchewan all the way up to just beyond the 58 degree north latitude, which was just over 400 miles. It actually is much wider than that. Here's the original screen grab I took of this object, whatever it was. At first, I'm like you, I thought that was a random Doppler radar loop until I realized how big it was. So what you're looking at here is the original recording I took simply off my smartphone. And then I transferred it to my laptop, and then I did some work on it. I didn't alter it in any way. I just zoomed in and, and slowed it down for video presentation purposes. It is what it is. It's just I don't know exactly what, what it is. But you're going to see it move from, like, northern Idaho and then take a leap up here to the north uh, northeast. Watch this. It's very, very interesting. And, again, it seems to be way too big to be a Doppler. Watch. You see it right there? See it just north of Idaho? And then it jumps up into the Saskatchewan-Alberta border. Check it out. You guys tell me. I, I don't know what that was. I've never seen anything quite like that. Yeah, I've seen plenty of, of Doppler sweeps on here before. Not necessarily on this app, but on many other apps. But never this big. My gosh, that's over 500 miles wide. What I measured to be 400 miles wide was the green. I wasn't measuring that blue ring right there. See it? I didn't notice it until I put it on my laptop. Look at that blue ring. Looks like a, a big orb. That's 500 miles. And that looked like it was down here above Idaho, down in southeastern British Columbia. And then it just took a big leap up into the Alberta-Saskatchewan border, right in the central part of Canada. Incredible. Looks like a big ship. Certainly not an airplane. Certainly not a helicopter. I wouldn't think that's any type of a drone. That is absolutely massive. So to me, that's some sort of a, a, a ship that wasn't necessarily supposed to have been seen. Probably wasn't visible, you know, with the visible radar. It only showed up on the enhanced. That is really, really interesting. I've never seen anything like that. And did you see the center kind of disappear? If that was a Doppler sweep, that, that signature in the middle would have been profound. The entire sweep disappears. I don't know. That's a, a first for me. I've never seen anything quite like that. Doppler 
uh, sweeps aren't necessarily over 500 miles wide. That would cover an entire state. That's why across you know states down here in the lower 48, you have Doppler uh, radars crossing the state. There might be eight or nine because they generally only go about 50 miles. That is 500. That's 10 times as big as a, a average Doppler radar. And it looked like it took a leap from here to here. Unreal. Don't know, guys. I'll, again, leave it up to you to decide for yourself. I just happened to run across that by sheer accident. I was looking at the radar on my uh, phone like I do every day, multiple times a day, and I just happened to notice that and took a recording of it, and there we have it, whatever it may be. To me, it looks like some sort of a large craft up in the sky. Here I've got a brand new Sky Phenomena picture slideshow I put together. And as always, I'm working on many, many more. Lexi out of San Diego, California. Amazing sunset. Melanie M. from Texas. Got some colorful clouds in the proximity of the sun. Gabby S. took this photo sent in by Elizabeth F. from Friday Harbor, Washington, of a big giant halo tucked in behind the trees here. You could see about half of it, and the other half was tucked in behind the tree. Great photo. Torrance, California, Yuki noticed a, a circle in the sky that looked like some sort of a, a hole in the sky. Noticed uh, by Yuki out of Torrance, California. Big ring up in the sky. And then here's a small ring, kind of like the one we just saw, but much farther away. And appears to be smaller, maybe the same size, may look smaller just simply because of its sheer distance. Bristol, United Kingdom, noticed by Tom. Some sort of another ring in the sky. You can see it right there. Got something in the center. Don't know. Have no idea. This ring here, no mistaking it. Jumbo Halo by Vanessa S. Incredible. That thing is energetic looking. Look at that. Scott S. from Foyle, Oklahoma. Storm clouds rolling in. And some Amatis clouds. And then some large hail they found that came from the sky. Those very clouds right there you just saw. That's golf ball size, ping pong ball size, just above quarter. That's probably half dollar size. Got a variety pack there of hail that was at different heights up in the sky. Scotland, Scott P. Noticed a spectacular double-decker rainbow. Even got the purple on the inside there. Great job. Sig out of San Juan, Puerto Rico, sent me some photos of the Sahara sand that made the transatlantic journey all the way over to Puerto Rico from the west coast of Africa, the Sahara Desert, filling the skies already. And it's only May. Ruth out of Dublin, Ireland, fiery reddish-orange sky, spectacular. This next halo comes out of Delaware. It was sent to me by Nina from Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. She was on a FaceTime call with her mother who was standing outside and she noticed this from Pennsylvania out in Delaware above her mom's head while they were having a FaceTime conversation. And that's from Delaware. Nina was in Pennsylvania. Great observation. Patrick from Boynton Beach, Florida. Beautiful sunrise coming up over the horizon. Brian from Navarre, Florida. They had some wildfires. Navarre's in the Florida panhandle back on May the 7th. They have them under control right now, but there for a while they were very close to Brian's house. Look at that. Thick smoke in the sky. Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. Liz B. from Mexico City, Mexico. Awesome photo of the sunset from Mexico City. She also sent in a, a remarkable video you guys are going to enjoy. I'm still working on putting that together. Michigan, Lisa M. Yet another jumbo halo in the sky. San Clemente, California. Linda G. Another circle. That's the third one we've seen from a different location in this video. Mount Lebanon. Do you guys see what's in the sky here? Sent in by Laws. There's one there and one there. Check this out. I'll circle them for you or I'll put them in a rectangle right here. See that? A three and a three up in the sky. Look at that. I don't know if those are giant birds or if that was unintentional, just a coincidence, or if that was uh, done intentionally. I have no idea. That was an incredible observation. Minnesota, Kimberly L. Noticed some colorful clouds up in the proximity of the sun. I've been seeing that too myself. 
Dallas, Texas, Omar J. Put up a video earlier of this incredible strobe light lightning storm from Dallas. Absolutely incredible. Full video is in the description box below. It's nearly 10 minutes of almost non-stop lightning that's colored the whole nine yards. India KN got a very unique halo here that's got like a, a hat on the top of it. Look at that. Straight out of India. KN Paranjathi. Here's a little video clip of the halo. Like I said earlier, we've been seeing a lot of these halos here recently from all around the world. And there's yet another example. Jacksonville, North Carolina, Jason M. Fiery orange sky. Tulsa, Oklahoma, Judy B. More Mamatis clouds above Oklahoma. They put on a spectacular show for everybody in Oklahoma. Fort Mojave, Arizona. Crystal M. Got the sunrise coming up right out here in Arizona. Don't know the exact coordinates of that, though. That was a few days ago, but awesome photo. Geelong, Australia. Dylan S. Mamatis clouds down under. How about that? United Kingdom. Deborah K. See what flew in front of the camera right as she was taking this photo? A big bird, and it looks like it's off in the distance, but when you go in tight, you can tell that bird went right in front of her camera as the aperture opened. Talk about timing. Look at that. Good-sized bird, too, whatever it was. Diane H. out of Willis, Texas. This was right before the supermoon. This is the supermoon out of the United Kingdom. Look at that. Got an orange tint to it. That was when it came up. That's a video I took from right out here in Arizona as it was going down. About 5 o'clock in the morning on May the 7th. Supermoon, the third of a trifecta for 2020. If you guys are new viewers, make sure you go over and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on this bell, that way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. If you guys are current subscribers, double check. Make sure they're both still activated and still turned on. The website is linked below in the description box. If you guys want to check out the, the Make a Difference tab, you can find it there at the website. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send them to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery, and sometimes I'll use them in a picture slideshow, just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.